Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 135. And I know it's been a while, so I thought I would just go over. So this is pretty much any game. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday number 135. It has been a while. So for those of you who don't know, I critique any games that you have that are that were recorded. You could upload them to YouTube, record them with OBS, just send them into the email. You send all any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, twos, threes, RBGs, shuffle, I've done Mythic Plus, I've done Raiding, I've done Mistweaver and Windwalker. So please send in any gameplay you have. And also I know it's Tuesday. I forgot to upload it yesterday. <laughs> so Please send in your gameplay. I am more than happy to answer and do any critiques that you have. And with that said, today we have. And with that said, it looks like. And with that said, today we have Kung Fury. And they say in the email, hi, I don't know if you're still doing these reviews on your channel anymore. I do. I just no one really sends them in anymore. So everyone's just insane. So. I do not, but I thought I'd submit an interesting one uh, in this game. Me and my partner are playing against a at 2180-ish MMR. We encounter AWC Pro Aegis on an Arcane Mage uh, here with an Arjir. I see that. This is a tough matchup for you guys, especially if you're Warriors Fury, which it looks like he is. Uh, I know I'm nowhere near Aegis Kill level. I was wondering if you could take a look and let me know how I could do better uh, and play this game. I will absolutely do that, of course. Unfortunately, the recording software didn't catch, so here's the build I use. I will take a look at the build. PvP talents are Eminence, Peace, Feelings, and Focus. I ran Eminence in case the Druid tried it. Yeah, Stun Clone, and then Peace, Feelings, and Focus for Mage Damage. Yep, no, 100%. I get that. I probably wouldn't play Eminence into this. I'd probably be playing more like Zen Spheres because damage really matters. But let me first take a look at your talents. All right, so these are the talents you chose, or this was the build you chose. I don't mind Song GG. I like Song GG as it seems like the kill target, then it's going to be the Mage. Now, it doesn't matter which the kill target is actually if you're hitting the druid you could still incap song the mage if you can get to him but don't obviously don't overextend or if you run out of mobility it's a little unfortunate but song of chiji is still good to use on the dps as well everything else is fine here um this seems fine as well i do see one two three so we are running oh we're playing healing elixir and uplifted spirits you could probably drop like healing elixirs and you could put it into unison. Unison's pretty solid in twos, especially versus an arcane mage because they can really only hit one person. You're not stacked, right? You're not fist weaving. I'm pretty sure you're mist weaving. So you can be too far away to get any cleave damage anyway. So unison's pretty good as well. Um, one, two confusion's fine. I and mean, everything else looks good. So yeah, those talents, uh, th these are good. These are, I would probably maybe just drop one point. In unison, unison's pretty decent for like any healing you might need to put on yourself. So. All right, and with that said, let's jump right into the game. So it looks like we are playing Mistweaver, Fury Warrior into our Druid Arcane. As far as your PvP talents go, I would probably drop Eminence. I know Eminence is for the Mighty Bash into Cyclone, but eventually they're going to get the Cyclone anyway. So, and then the thing that sucks about Fury Warrior is your Fury Warrior needs uptime. So you, honestly, your best bet would to try to kill the Archerid, just because it's easier to connect than Arcane Mage. Fury is really good if you can have uptime. Arms is really good if you don't have a lot of uptime. So just keep that in mind. This matchup is going to be kind of rough. And the reason why Zen Spheres is good is because, you know, you have that 10% extra damage on the enemy, which is going to matter when your Fury Warrior can actually eventually <laughs> connect. So uh, this will be interesting for sure. Put your port down really good. Warriors pushing in. Good job getting our new mist out. Got our statue we actually don't have our st okay. I was gonna say hopefully you don't uh no path available. That's fine. That's all right. We'll try to get the statue down. Okay, statue's down. Be careful because the mage can actually hit this. So be careful. Yeah, the mage is gonna start hitting this. Your warrior is probably gonna want to push in uh, ASAP because you the the mage is gonna have full damage. I would cancel my statue right now. I would cancel it and re summon it maybe when the warrior actually connects to the mage because now the mage starts with a little bit more damage than they normally would. Arcane Surge, that's uh, Precog on the Mage, which is oh, which is okay. Uh, Stunny, we... Tr okay, was that a Trinket? What was this? Okay, yeah, that was Trinket. All right, so we're playing Eminence, right? I think you said 
We're playing Eminence. So this bash right here, I, are we in range of port? Let's see. Um, yeah, we are in range of port. Yeah, we trinket in cap. This is fine. I go for a song if you're playing it. Sweep is fine. Trinket from the druid. And then we'll poly on you. Okay. So first off, we trinketed, but you said we had eminence. So straight off the rip, if you're playing eminence, always make sure you're playing in range of your port at all times. I think you were in range of port. So I think you would have been fine to just port instead of trinketing. But especially versus Archer and Mage, that has Cyclone, 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 Mighty Bash, Poly, Poly, Poly. Like, it's a lot of CC. So you always want to hold on to your trinket as long as you can, especially versus a comp like this. In twos, it's okay. Your warrior should be able to live. Um, your warrior will probably need to fear defensively, especially on the Mage if he can hit to him. But the Archer would already trinketed. So I think the kill target right now is the Resto Druid. Maybe on next stun yard when your warrior has Stormbolt back right here in 20 seconds, and then off stun yard, hopefully in 19, you, we can connect long enough to actually get um, some damage going out on the Archer. Until then, it might just have to be Mage. The general rule of thumb versus Resto Druid is a swap on HOTS. So as soon as the Resto Druid like, uses Snaring Ward and all the HOTS on himself, I would immediately swap to the Mage. That way you can oom them. Um, be careful though, because I think the Mage does have kick, so let's be careful. Good, that's Rally from your Warrior. This is good. As long as your Warrior is topped before Polys and Clones, I think he'll be okay. But we'll see. Soothing Mist, good. Um, I don't see a Kick Tracker. So, I might be missing it, to be honest with you. Try to get an in-cap here. This is Ursula's Vortex. This is fine. Try to focus on healing. Don't, yeah, yeah. Whenever it's really important, whenever you're going for CC, don't forget to heal. I had that issue a lot when I was first starting playing Miss Weaver, and just even sometimes now, like even when you go for CC, you always want to keep healing. Try to use like one or two globals when the healer's in cap to heal. Um, but where do you Song of Chiji? So that's just an in cap. Good. We get give precog to the mage, but I think that's okay because I would just swap to the druid right now. Uh, because this is Iron Bark. You're not gonna kill through Iron Bark. You're just you're just not gonna kill through Iron Bark. Not a single chance, especially with only 39% dampening. So I would just swap to the Druid here. Especially since all the Hots are on the Mage right now. Um, that was also... also I don't know if this is a... Fo oh, this is... Oh, you have the Druid on focus. Okay, yeah. The Mage has uh, Alter Time, Thorns, Iron Bark. So... Or Iron Bark right here. So you're, you're not killing this Mage. You're just better off just swapping to the Druid. Um, which I think we might... Good stun on that... That heal, yes, intervene from the warrior. Yeah, I would Song of Chiji. This is okay. I mean, it's fine that you, where you break it. Uh, because the swap is really good. That the mage wasn't gonna die. There's no point in hitting him. Um, we still have Fred Regen, good life cocoon here. This we're doing good so far. Careful. This is a DR clone. This is fine. Careful because your statue's out of line too. It might not heal. So just keep that in mind. Always try to move your statue depending on where you move on the map. I know well also we need to heal. Yeah, we need to heal. So this might have to be, I mean, we have a Zen Focus T, so you could just Zen Focus T, and I would put, like, this Renewing Mist is good, but I would probably Enveloping Mist as well, because our mana's fine. We're at 81% mana, the Shirt is is booming super fast. So try to get a hot out here, because the issue that what they can do is they could Cyclone your Warrior, and then either Cyclone you or Poly you. I think you're, I think you're on Poly VR, but I'm pretty sure you're close to being off clone dr so be careful when it comes to druids because they can just completely cyclone your life cocoon you also you're gonna have to move your statue as well but keep this in mind we do a friend regen but we should be fine i don't we don't have we have manatee seven stacks of manatee and we need to we don't have thunder focus t but we have sun focus t so i would manatee right now this is a good in cap we don't have song we don't have sweep no reason to push it any further. I do seven stacks of manatee and then go for a Zen Focus T into an Envelope Mist on this poly uh, on the Cyclone before you get CC'd because it's not going to be good because we're just zapping right now and crackling. I mean, yeah, Mystic Touch is good, but all right, good, good. I probably would have manatee before though. I mean, I know man. Oh, I think we just wasted Fringe Regen pretty hard there. Yeah, we have Zen Focus T up. Yeah, we have Zen Focus T. We're not in CC. And they're kiting away. So, uh, yeah, this um, this friend regen is kind of a waste, sadly, because we're at like 100%. That's that's really unfortunate. Um, because you don't... Do you have trinket back yet? We just got kicked. Yeah, we should be okay. 
We're rooted. We, you could dispel. Yep. Tiger's loss is fine too. Um, this is good. Statue's not healing the warrior though because it's out of line. Yeah, this is Alter Time. Probably gonna have Iron Bark, Iron Bark back soon. Good in cap here. Maybe into a song. He just used he just used counter. Yes, good sweep here. And he just used counter magic, so you could song DB on you into Bash into Clone with Trinket. Good Zen Focus is really good. Cyclone half. So this would be a good time to have friendly regen. Um, Root on you is okay. Still doesn't have a kick, which is fine. Treant's coming out from the Druid. We have stacks of Slaughterhouse on the Mage. Mage is doing a ton of damage. Knocks the Warrior up on the charge. What do we have? We use our Manatee stacks, which is good. We have Revival back, and we have Life Cocoon. So what you're going to have to do, because you just use your Trinket, is you're probably going to have to pre... Well, actually, we're playing Revival instead of Restoral. That's also another thing that you probably should change um, instead of Revival. You want Restoral, because you could at least use Restore while stunned. So if you don't have Port... You can immune a polymorph for cycle on you when you're stunned. Because I know you're worried about being bash cloned. Song of Chigi. It's okay. I don't think it hit the druid, but that's okay. Um Yeah, I would reset this port's good. If this druid leaves to you, you could port. If the mage, you know, tries to poly you, you could port. Um Shifting Power. Warrior is kiting. I this is fine. This is fine. I, if we have any mobility, though, I'd, I would send it on the mage. Let me see. Mage has focus growth. Life balloon. One rejuvenation. I would, I would just start running down. I would run down this mage as much as you could. Yeah. Leap. Yeah. Hopefully we have a charge. Good. Druid's drinking right now. We should probably stop it. We're drinking too, but we should, we're should. we way ahead on mana. Like, we're super ahead on mana. And we're just not stopping this. This, this is the win condition right here. And I think we just lost it, sadly. The druid is at what um 90k mana. So pretty close to being um 84k mana. So I think if we I know we don't have ring of peace, but you could just roll in and maybe ink cap. This is a perfect time, by the way. Because the druid's not even drinking while stealth, which is really good. Uh you could ink cap song this druid. Yeah, we don't even need a drink. We're we're so ahead on mana. We're at 72% mana, the druid's at 30%. Like you have more than double his mana. So, and he starts drinking, and he's LOS, so you could in-cap Song this Druid for free. And then if you get kicked, you could also, also sweep off. And Oh yeah, the mage is too far to even do anything. Yeah, I would have in-cap Songed this Druid right here, especially since he's drinking. And this is a huge win condition. Um, so this is not ideal, because now the Druid can probably just heal forever. Yeah, it's too late. Eminence is too short, yeah. You know... Not an ideal spot there. We do have fear. We definitely. Oh no! I think the. Oh no no. We have we have life cocoon. Oh, wait. How did do, were we uh, not in the ring at first? Oh the mage. Oh that's so unfortunate. There's. The, dang. That we had fear, but I don't know if the mage is close enough to fear. Um, your warrior. Yeah, we haven't. We the frenzy gen over here. Uh, was not ideal. This one was not... I don't think this friend regen was necessary because you weren't in CC, right? I mean, and plus your warrior is at 97%. So I feel like this friend regen wasn't worth it. Um, also, we didn't fear at all. Or, oh, no, sorry, we did. We did. And then we also let the Druid drink, which is kind of unfortunate. That's, that's mostly a one condition as a cast for Mistweaver and Twos because we don't have damage. So you want to... Just out mana. You get drinks when you can, but you need to stop drinks whenever uh, whenever you can as well. So without Rop, you're going to need to push in to get this song, this in-cap song, which would have stopped the drink. Um, but the other thing is you were playing Eminence, and the first stun on you, we Trinket. So just also keep that in mind. You want to you want to hold your Trinket as long as possible, especially in this matchup with you know three Cyclones, three Polys, Bash, like all that stuff. So definitely keep that in mind. You and we just trinket the first go. Good in cap here though on the clone. And then the other thing is, what's the other thing? I think your healing rotation was good. I think you use your cooldowns pretty well. 
Also, make sure that you play Restoral instead of Revival. There's really nothing versus Frost Mages that you're going to need to Revival. Obviously, spamming Polymorphs, but that's going to happen all the time anyway, even if you don't have Revival. So, I would definitely play Restoral too, because I'm pretty sure you get Bashed here. And, like, this this Bash could have been Restoraled um, on the Ring of Frost, and I think the Cyclone. So, just keep that in mind. I play Restoral 90% of the games. I, don't, I, only, I only play Revival versus, like, Shadow Priests and Affliction Warlocks. Things that need to be dispelled but yeah overall this game was fine i think the game was going in your favor like easily going in your favor um there was just that really unfortunate friend regen from your warrior where i don't think he needed to and then positioning wise we could have avoided this clone if our port was in a different spot and we also loved that you're a drink so that was really unfortunate too but you know we, we had life cocoon at the end we had revival i think close to the end so we had cooldowns if we just held our trinket a little um a little later and we held it for life cocoon i think you guys could have uh, gotten a win also if we were closer to the mage we could have gotten a fear as well so and then like what four or five more seconds on friend regen yeah so you were really close to like staying alive in this game for sure it was just close and a very unfortunate use of one defensive cooldown so that is pretty much it if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions about this game or if you have any more games send them in and that is it for me hope everyone's a fantastic rest of the day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later